G'day guys, I'm Joe from Jolt Lures and welcome to this week's video. If you're new to our channel, guys, we bring you weekly little fishing adventures, whether it's out in the boat, chasing bass or bream, or whether it's off the rocks chasing dewfish, or whether it's what we're doing here today, getting into some river cod. Normally when you see us in the kayak, we're chasing some bass, but today we're out here cod fishing. And let me tell you, this morning's session started off exactly how we wanted it to. So uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much, guys. I'm gonna drop that footage in here now. Stay with us for this morning session, and fingers crossed we catch some more top water cod. There he is guys, an absolutely cracking River Murray cod for where we're fishing. That is a really, really healthy fish. Haven't got anything to measure him, but he'd be mid to high 60s anyway, he's just a belter. And there's me all-rounder rodent. Uh, that's the first fish I think I've caught on the all-rounder rodent, designed for exactly this river cod and big bass. But this is a beautiful Murray cod. Pretty stoked, I hope you saw that top water, it was pretty awesome. I'm gonna get this guy. Back in the water. So a big cod like that, most likely this whole area would be his home. They're pretty territorial, so there's a pretty good chance that he would keep this area pretty vacant from other fish. So even though he was on that little bit there, he would patrol this whole area, um, just knowing how territorial these fish are. But still worth another one up in there.
so spectacular. So cool to see so many particles. Was attacking. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I think the platypus come up and nudge the koak with his bill and spook. That's awesome. They're a prehistoric creature. So uh, this little zone here in front uh, is basically perfect top of a pool. We've got all this water flowing off the rapids, pushing straight into it, and it's laying out across the river. <laughs> Sheep there, same along. And as you can see, there's foam all along it. So I'm going to start back here in the little eddy where there's some foam. I'm not going to just rush straight forward. I have a couple of casts there. Move forward a little bit to there, you can just see the water swirling. You just don't know what's under the water there. Alright, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to back paddle slightly so I don't get too close. Now, the next car is I would call the money, one of the money cars. There's two money cars on this tree. So this Missed it a little bit, but that mightn't be too bad. Mm -mm. That one might be better. Just let the current suck it along the face like that. Just free spool every now and then, let it drop back in there. Now, I'll get home now. Yeah. Go again because it's too good of a spot not to give a few cars. No, don't think you would have caught that, guys. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's bigger than the last one. Oh, yeah. I think it was just out of frame because the kayak had drifted a little bit, but that's a good fish. That could be top water again. I'll see if I can get him in, but... Oh, man. Oh, that's big. That's big. Well, there he is, guys. Absolute belter of a River Murray cod. There's the all around the rodent. Check that out. That one's way bigger than the last one. Not sure how big he is. To see fish like this in this system is so, so good. What a great Murray cod. It's a lot bigger than that last fish. Um, 
He'd be getting over 70 now, that guy, but that is, for where we're fishing, guys, I've done a lot of research on these rivers with the research teams over the years, tagging and all that, and it is so good to see these big fish coming through. These were unheard of 10 years ago. I've caught two in the morning, so, all right, I'm gonna get this guy back. and that is more than enough to hold a cod. But unfortunately I can't fish out of the kayak because it's just running too quick there. So I'm just gonna throw a glide bait in there. That's a, a negotiator from Roman May. So there we go. I don't know if you saw that, I mean, glide baits got hung up, and as it got hung up, a big cod rolled over the log. Bugger. Throw the hard body in there. Drop one there on the spinner bait. Just drilled it and just, just pulled the hooks on it. Could have been a smaller fish. Well, guys, that wraps up another week's video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. It wasn't heaps of action this morning, but the fish we did get were absolute quality. Um, they were, yeah, two really, really good fish for this river system we're fishing here. So, uh, just had a few hours, went down a fair few pools, and uh, yeah, just sort of, just, yeah, just seemed a little bit dead down there. The uh, action was a little bit closer to the car, which is okay with me. So, if you enjoyed that, guys, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think. That all rounder rodent is proving itself for exactly what it was made for the river cod and bass. Stay tuned, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.